All right, not quite yet sunrise, and we're on the trail. I try to improve my photography by going on photo excursions, whether it's my own independently two, three times a year, or I go to a workshop or seminar on photography, usually landscape photographer. Um, so this most recent excursion is what this video is about. It's my adventure of hiking and photography in the Delaware River Gap area. So the Delaware River Gap is literally a gap between the Appalachian Mountains in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It literally cuts through those mountains on the northeast side of Pennsylvania and the northwest side of New Jersey. And it's a cool place. There's lots of great hiking trails, including the Appalachian Trail. And there are a lot of waterfalls to photograph. It's also great for me because it's about an hour and a half east of another great location that we'll cover more in this video when I really want to get away, just do some cool photography and relax. That's what inspired me to take this trip, this four-day excursion to the Delaware River Gap. I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, this is Bruce at BetterDigitalPhototips.com. The website and the YouTube channel are full of answers to your questions about digital photography. All right, here we go, first stop. So the lighting's not so great, but while we're here, we're gonna shoot the video, all right? Check it out. Even though the falls were low, the water level is still a great opportunity for some nice shots. It's so peaceful here. Made it into the parking lot. That was quite a drive. There we go. Started out really dark, narrow, winding up and down, crazy roads. And then of course we ran into some fog. But we made it, about an hour and a half drive. We should get three, four, hopefully four hours on the trail before the rain comes. I am excited to be here once again to do some waterfall photography. I'm going to load up the boots, the rain pants, and the rain jacket. All right, so one of the things I noticed on my drive over here, step down, Bruce, there's a lot more orange 
active camp it's mostly yellow and even though I'm maybe 60 miles west there's a big difference in the amount of change in the fall colors so I'm gonna shut off the video hike in real quick about now a uh, mile or two into the beginning of the real falls see you soon all right I couldn't wait to get out the camera again see scenes like this all the time I wanted to share this with you before I get to the waterfalls it's really beautiful All right, so the way Ricketts Glen is formed, there's a, a Y, the shape of a Y, and we're gonna, we've walked up about half the stem, and another half of the stem will get to what's called Rivers Meet, and there's a fork to the left and a fork to the right. We're gonna take the fork to the right, but I want to show you real quick this first waterfall. Uh, we're in maybe about a mile into the trail from Route 118. Here's a quick look at the waterfall. See you soon. One thing I highly recommend is a good pair of boots. You can get some shots by getting out in the water that you normally wouldn't get if you got your regular hiking boots on. So this is the bottom stem of the Y. We are right here at Waters Meet. There you go. A lot of great waterfalls going up there, a real big one. What we're gonna do is take a right and go across this bridge and go up and shoot up here. So there's the path that goes up the left side. Here's the path across the bridge. And that goes up that away. All right, see you in a minute. And up we go. So with this much overcast, it's actually a great situation for doing waterfalls. I don't have to use any neutral density filters. I can get a real long shutter speed just by putting my aperture up nice and high and using a low ISO, ISO 100, to get the best quality. Check out the waterfall behind me. This is a photo I did in the spring, and I really love the spot. It's a unique view. The only problem was there wasn't as much color, so I had to come back, come up the right side of the Y. This is one of the first big waterfalls behind me, looking down at a bridge that crosses over. Sometimes it's not the falls themselves that are the subject matter. You can find things downstream from a fall, but here are the falls, just to give you a perspective. So like I said, having boots is a great idea because I'm literally standing in the stream. I'm gonna take this off and show you. Look, at, look how amazingly cool that looks.
Okay, we're taking the shortcut. I'm gonna get out of this before the rain hits. So don't forget while you're hiking and photographing, take time to look around at the incredible scenery to think how blessed we are to live on this frickin' amazing planet. So I made it up a ridge on the north side of the ridge and the wind was really whipping coming from the north so it's pretty uh, chilly over there but now that I'm across the ridge and down the slope a little bit it is so peaceful. I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see shooting into the sun so it's going to be a little contrasty you might get some lens flare but um, it's just a spectacular view and the colors are mostly green with some yellow a few spots of red they probably quite haven't quite peaked, but they're pretty close, so enjoy the view. I'm gonna turn it around. Sorry for the amateur video. There we go. Let's do that again. All right, time to head down. This is the last place where you can get a good view of the valley, so check it out. Enjoy the colors, they're a little muted because it's cloudy, but here you go. So thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you can leave a comment below, tell me which activity you'd like to do the most. Would you like to do the easy hike to the waterfalls near the uh, Delaware Water Gap? Would you like to do the more strenuous hike to all the waterfalls at Ricketts Glen? Or would you uh, prefer doing the hike along the ridge, the Appalachian Trail Mountains?